How's it going today, YouTubers? Well, I've got another uh, watch review today of, of my watch collection. I'm actually uh, picking one of my uh, my prize watches here. Actually, uh, um, this retails for seven or eight hundred dollars. It's it's one of my more expensive ones. I'm definitely you know I'm kind of the cheap guy watch guy. I have a lot of thirty and forty dollar watches, but this particular one is uh, one of my pride and joys and I thought I'd kind of enjoy going over it and that and I actually went out uh, and looked on Amazon and and I don't know how long it's gonna be that way but uh, it's actually on sale for for three hundred and something dollars right now it retails for six ninety five so that's a heck of a bargain but anyway I uh, kinda get to give you a little bit about this watch it's a uh, I've had it for about five years now um, I've replaced one battery in it um, it's a uh, it's Swiss made um, it's actually Victorinox is uh, Victorinox is actually uh, the company that makes Swiss Army knives as well, and this is that same company. It's definitely a Swiss-made watch. Um, it's all stainless steel. It has a sapphire crystal, and it's a true chronograph. Um, if you notice, it's got three hands on it. But the but if you notice right now, my uh, my normal second hand's not moving. It's because it actually has a second hand here that moves. If you can see it right there I don't know if you can see that or not but the hopefully I'm not getting that weird reflection either but uh, I, I might have to find another place to do my watch reviews I, I noticed the last one had some bad reflections but I mean, hopefully you can see it. but it's got the second view there now you can you can uh, use a chrono let me go ahead and zero it out so anyway when you start your start like this it you know I, it's a normal second hand sweep and then uh it's also doing doing chronograph at this time too I've actually started the chronograph and then, of course, uh, I've got the chronograph running right now. As you can see, the second hand sweeping. I can stop it, and that's my chronograph time. And then, of course, you know, you can use the, uh, the small meter and, and, and get your time. And then, uh, of course, you can, uh, you can reset it by, what's it like this? There we go. We reset it now. Now we're back to, uh, back, which I kind of like for one thing. I, I don't know if it really makes a difference, but uh, the... The second hand there, um, using as a chronograph, is definitely much better than trying to read those little numbers. That, and I don't know if it makes any difference on battery life or not, but it seems like using that little hand for your seconds instead of uh, that big hand would make a difference on battery life. I, I could be way off on that, but anyway, I mean, this is a this is a solid watch. Um, I mean, solid band, Swiss made. Um, let's go ahead and do some measurements here and kind of give you the. It's a fairly nice size. I, I actually, this is a perfect size watch. I like. You know, I've got some 52s and stuff, but, uh, you know, this is like a 45, I believe. And 45s are about my favorite, 45 to maybe 47. After that, it gets a little too, too big. Uh, let me go ahead and do a measurement on here. Yeah, we're at 45 on that. So this is a 45 millimeter. Um, full tachometer. It's got date counter at the bottom. Sapphire crystal, as I said, bezel. Uh, Weight-wise... Get her set down here. 153 grams. So that's just pretty heavy for a for a 45. But I mean, this is a this is a very well constructed watch. I believe it's um, 100 meters, which I'm water resistant to. Which I mean, obviously I wouldn't take it to 100, but I would definitely trust this uh, snorkeling or uh, or probably even typical scuba diving. I mean, this is definitely definitely a true chronograph waterproof watch. Like I said, it's Swiss made, um, all stainless steel stainless steel band got nice weight to it I'm um, hopefully you can get a good view and let me get it up here like see I, I think it's just a pretty watch it's kind of like a kind of a midnight blue color let me go ahead and put it on my wrist too you can see what it looks like on the wrist here but this this by far is one of my favorite watches and definitely one of my most accurate watches it's the only problem with having it is it's almost too nice to wear daily I mean I'd rather wear the Timex daily and take this out when I when I want to go out and and uh, and, and sport a really nice watch, but anyway, um, just another one of uh of my watches in my collection. Um, I, I like I said, I kind of noticed that they had a, a really good price going out there and on Amazon on it, which shocked me. Um, I think, you know, I, um, typically sell wise, I see it for about four fifty five hundred, but three hundred is is a heck of a bargain for uh, this quality of a watch. I mean, we're talking Swiss made, 
this is the, the real deal. I mean, this is a watch that, you know, you should, if you take care of it and, and, and had service right, it should last a lifetime. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this little short video on my Victor Knox um, chronograph watch. Um, if you like, give it a like. Please subscribe and have a great day.